Metropolitan Police distressed detaining anti-monarchy campaigners who were certainly not incriminated. The Metropolitan Police has vented disappointment that six anti-royal activists from the campaign faction Republic were detained beforehand of the King's coronation. Zero charges were passed against the protesters, and this sunset they were told their shorty had been disregarded and no additional action would be required. The services disclosed that it could uncover no substantiation to show that the stuffs confiscated by detectives would be expended to upset the occasion, with campaigners declaring they only had them to protect their posters. Including those detained on the 6th of May this past Saturday, was Republic CEO Graham Smith, who today called for a full investigation into who sanctioned the detentions during the shameful incident. He reiterated that the haste at which the Met abandoned its charges against the protesters and I quote, demonstrates they were very quickly aware they had made a very serious error of judgment and there will be action taken again. I'm obviously relieved they dropped it so quickly but very angry they even went down this road, robbing people of their liberty for absolutely no reason, he said. There was no evidence of any ability or intent to commit any offence and they simply decided to arrest us and that is outrageous. The police engaged in 64 apprehensions on Coronation Day, 52 of which connected to anxieties that individuals were going to interrupt the coronation. In a report announced this twilight, the Metropolitan Police said the detentions comprised to avoid a contravention of the harmony and plot to instigate a community trouble. As a segment of the broader monitoring task force, eight were taken into custody for index crimes, involving handling of an attacking firearm drugs violations, and contravening a sexual harm avoidance directive. The Met said it got info that campaigners were resolute to create disorder during the coronation parade, and that it pre-arranged to prevent these individuals only, adding and I quote, any suggestion all protest was prohibited is not correct. So far four allegations have been issued after the 64 arrests mobilized on Saturday, but the Metropolitan Police said some inquiries are multifaceted and yield longer period. Clarifying the detention of the six Republic participants, the police said officers observed a set of persons offloading stuffs from a car in St. Martin's Lane, Westminster, at approximately 6.40 a.m. that a.m. I quote, taking into account the information that people were seeking to seriously disrupt the event, and the significance of the security operation, officers had been briefed to be extremely vigilant and proactive, he said. They searched the vehicle and, as well as a large number of placards, found items which at the time they had reasonable grounds to believe could be used as lock-on devices. The six people were detained under Section 2 of the Public Order Act 2023, under the a misguided feeling they were strategizing to latch onto something to disturb the succession. One man was also arrested for ownership of a knife-pointed object. The first thing to say about the weekend is an enormous thank you to everyone involved in making sure that everything went off so smoothly and was so successful. Uh, lots of people worked incredibly hard, including the police, to make sure that that happened. And I'm very grateful to all of them, as I think everyone will be. Now, with regard to protests, you know, what I'd say is, of course, people have the right to protest uh, freely and peacefully. But it is also right that people have the ability to go about their day-to-day -day lives without facing serious disruption. And what the government has done is give the police the powers that they need to tackle instances of serious disruption to people's lives. I think that's the right thing to do, and, and the police will make the decisions on when they use those powers. So you're not